teach you about piano. Now, this is a warm-up. Can anyone guess what it's called? It is called a chord. A, a warm-up for... A chord, and it's a, a warm-up for your fingers. This is how you play it. Here's how you play it on the treble clef. On the bass clef. Sorry. The treble clef, is a, this is a treble clef, this is a bass clef. A treble clef is playing a lighter notes like this. Higher notes. Higher notes. And can you tell us about these notes right here? These are the treble clef notes. Treble clef means you play with your right hand. Yep. And so here we have the notes C, D, D E, F, G. So show us those notes on the piano. Show C. us the C. C for cat, D for dog, E for elephant, F for frog, G for giraffe. The bass clef is playing darker notes like this. I mean, not lighter notes. As you can see, it's still the same letters, C, D, E, F, F and G. G. And you're playing them on the same spot on the piano. This is the C, D, E, F, G. And then you can keep going to A, B, and then it starts again. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. For the whole piano play a fairly easy song using only these three notes, C, D, and E, and it goes like this. that there are several types of notes in this piece of music. And this note right here is called a half note dot. It means it has three beats. This note right here is called a quarter note. It has one beat. And this note right here is called a half note. It has two beats. See if you can hear the difference between a half note dot, three beats, Half note, two beat, quarter note, one beat, while Lillian plays. Hey guys, I'm playing whoa, 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 your butt gently down the street. 